everyone, this is Ross. I've got myself a nice little bowl of jujubes here. We're gonna dry them in a minute, but also a nice, really well-ripened black Madeira KK. And surprisingly, it's been very, very cold here. Uh, we're getting temperatures at night in the 40s. Um, things are definitely slowing down, especially with these potted trees here, guys. These potted trees really are not doing anything. And any of the fruits that are on here, very few of them are actually coming through and ripening. I have a Sweet Joy over here, which is gonna be an incredible fig. I, this is definitely the most unique fig I have in my collection. And uh, I'm excited to see what this one does, even though it's been so cold. I maybe can pick it right now, but I saw one that was sort of dried up that I didn't even notice. It wasn't edible, but it, it, you could tell it had just the most incredible flavor. And um, you know what else? It, it really is the most unique fig I have. It really has the most unique flavor. Um, but today we're gonna look at the Black Madeira. Even this late in the season, today is, uh, let's see, October 23rd. We are seven days away from our average first frost. And you can see a lot of the annuals, uh, like the tomatoes here, they're pretty much done. You know, they're putting out a, as much as they can, but ripening has certainly slowed very significantly. But a lot of the in-ground trees are just keep pumping out some figs. And it really just goes to show that the ground here is still quite warm. Whereas the soil in these pots is more subjected to this cold, these colder temps that we've been having at night and it really shows in the difference in the ripening process. But the issue with black Madeira is like, look how many fruits are on here that still haven't ripened. And um, again, we're seven days away from our, our average first frost. So you're, you're really not gonna get a whole lot of fruit off of this, but I think I can get this to fruit every year for me and to put out quality fruits. People have been asking me if this is a good idea to put this thing in the ground and um, I don't think it's a great idea, <laughs> but with the right techniques and, the, and a mature tree, mature-ish tree, I should say, you could definitely get, you know, maybe 15, 20, 30 fruits, maybe. You know, it really all depends um, on your techniques and how much heat and how much what the soil temperatures are like, you know, because it's gonna ripen this late in the season. You can, you know, it started a while ago, you know, the first fig was probably sometime in, um, you know, sometime in like mid-September, I think. I have to double check in my spreadsheet. You guys can find that out if you want in the description. But, you know, this thing's starting as early as it did. It still has all these fruits on it because the harvest window, the first fig to the last fig is just incredible. And not only that, but the tree grows and as it continues to grow, it keeps putting out more fruits. And these fruits that it keeps putting out are, you know, they're gonna ripen way late. So I'm not gonna even get, th these are so far away, it's crazy. You know, like you may look at these and think, oh, well, that's a lot of fruit, Ross. These are gonna be close to being ripe, but they're actually like two months away. <laughs> um, maybe, <laughs> maybe a month and a half away. Um, if you know we had the temperatures for it so realistically i would say you know it probably set about on this tree on the very few branches up at the top here somewhere around 60 fruits that had the potential to ripen within my season the rest of it is just uh because the tree resumed growth and put out new fruits and that's just kind of what this variety does and if if you saw the video I did maybe the other day, we showed you guys the, the Black Madeira UC Davis in the greenhouse. That's in a pot. And even though it has warmer temperatures, I've been heating the greenhouse just a bit, it's still not really competing with this Black Madeira KK in the ground. The, uh, the temperatures, it seems to really have dug itself in here. It seems to be doing really well. Um, yeah, I don't expect really to get anything else off of this tree. Whereas I definitely will in the greenhouse, you know, I'll get more black Madeiras in there, but yeah, I don't know. It just goes to show you kind of what's been happening in the, in the grounds versus what happens in these pots. And 
I want to bring you guys over real quick and show you. This is like the last pastelier fig I have of the year. And I'm going to take this leaf off, get you guys a better view in here. Look how beautiful that thing is. And I think it's ready. Yeah, it is. So it's not just the black Madeira. It is other in-ground trees. I have probably some Malta black in the front that are ripening right now. Maybe a, an improved Celeste or two. Um, I have some other in-ground trees that are just actually just starting to put out fruit, which is a bit of a shame just because of immaturity. Looks like this Nero 600M um, is actually gonna put out maybe one or two figs for me, but I'm sure they're not gonna be of the greatest quality um, just because of how late it is. But, you know, even the, the Pastelier here looks to be of pretty good quality this late in the season with this much rain that we've been getting. We probably got like four inches of rain, three maybe three inches of rain in the last week or so. Um, let me just try this real quick. Talk about, you know, exactly why, I guess, this variety is just so good, even right now. I mean, it really is the king of, of flavor in terms of figs, man. It's got the best flavor. Oh my, look at that. Just pools of honey, pools of this stuff. Now, if you eat this fig and you don't like this fig, you need to get your taste buds examined. I mean, this is legit as it gets. This is um, all the hype that revolves around the, this fig here is 100% true. And uh, you really will never know unless you taste it. And this fig, I think, is just going to be sort of enshrined in history in terms of figs. It's just at least here in the US. Yep. And the only bad thing about this is that because it's so cool out right now, the skin on the figs are getting bitter. But if you ate the pulp, there's absolutely no bitterness and it has a fantastic, complex, elegant berry flavor to it. You can see the honey down here at the bottom that's solidified. Just an incredible fig. Let's open up Pastelier just to see what this guy looks like. Nowhere near as good. Still needs to mature this damn tree. Let's try it. Ah. Very good fig though. Very good. At this time of the year, still put, putting out quality figs. That's really good. Yeah. Anything at this point is a bonus. And uh, to be getting <laughs> this kind of bonus is like, whoa. You know, so I'm really happy I put some trees in the ground and really happy to just see that some of these are doing quite well, even though the black Madeira, like you can see the backside of it, you know, it still has a, a lot of production that could have happened that didn't, but you know, it is what it is. The thing was just put in the ground in the spring. So really something. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Take care. We'll see you for tomorrow's video.